the brother uh, who is asking about making dua after, after prayer individually because he knows. He says that I know that doing it in congregation is an innovation. And this is prevailing in some countries, unfortunately, that after the imam concludes the prayer, he faces the congregation and he starts offering salat on Nabi alayhi salatu salam or subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allahu akbar, or reciting ayat al-kursi and making dua and the people say ameen, ameen, ameen. This is an innovation. People uh, may wonder why is it an innovation? It's a dua, I'm calling Allah, it's a good thing. I said yes, it's a dua, you're calling Allah, it's not a good thing. Why? Simple. Allah says in Surah Al-Ma'idah, Chapter 5, اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم. Today, I have completed your religion. وأتممت عليكم نعمتي. And I have uh, 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 finished or accomplished my favor upon you. ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا. And I have accepted Islam to be your religion. Question. Was this revealed at the time of the Prophet ﷺ? Answer. Yes, it was. Question. Was the religion complete? Was it completed at the time of the Prophet ﷺ? Answer, yes it was. Then question, anyone who comes nowadays and tries to introduce something, would that be accepted in the religion or would that be considered as an innovation? Uh, Sheikh, it is something good. Don't play around. Answer the question. If I come and say, let us add two rak'ahs for uh, whatever, uh, conference opening. Let's pray together. Is it good? He said, yeah, it's good, it's prayer. He said, was it done at the time of the Prophet ﷺ? Said, no, khalas, this is bid'ah. I'll give you another example. What's the ruling on congregational prayer? Oh, it's good. The Prophet said a prayer in congregation is 27 times better than praying alone. Okay, what is a ruling on praying two rak'ahs after dhuhr prayer. It is highly emphatic, recommended sunnah, part of the 12 rak'ahs that will build you a, a house in the paradise. Excellent. If we combine both, meaning we finished for a dhuhr prayer, alhamdulillah, we ask the congregation, come on, stand up and let us pray the two emphatic recommended sunnah in congregation. How would that be Wallah, Shaykh, it sounds very nice. Okay, it sounds nice, but did the Prophet do it, alayhi salatu salam? No, he did not. Now, question one. Did the Prophet know that this is very nice? Mm, yes, he did. Did he tell us? No, he didn't. Then is he withholding information about Islam? <gasps> this is kufr, Shaykh. No, 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 no. no I, I, I scratch this. I don't want to answer this question. Let me ask you again. Did the Prophet know about how nice this sunnah is? Um, no, he didn't. Subhanallah. You consider this to be part of the deen. And the Prophet was ignorant about it? Shaykh, this is kufr again. Then what to do? Then it, the easiest and safest thing for you to do is to say that this is an innovation, bid'ah, and you have to uh, not do it. Coming back to your question. Doing dua after salat alone. Is it sunnah? Is it okay? Answer, if you do it once every blue moon, no problem. But if you do it after every salat, like we see people after, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, some of them even wipe himself, uh, 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 and, and oh, what are you doing? So I was making dua, okay, why are you shampooing yourself? He said, no, no, this is for barakah. Barakah from you? This is not done except before you go to bed or when you're sick. Other than that, this is an innovation. So if you do dua after every fart salat, this is an innovation. The sunnah is to do it while you are in sujood or to do it before salam, while you are still in prayer. This is what the Prophet had recommended, alayhi salatu and Allah knows best. Yes.